What are you going to do next year? I'm going to college in Ohio, Oberlin, majoring in literature. Who are your favorite authors? Well, that's kind of hard to say. You know, there's so many. Mine's Thoreau. He was into ecology before anyone really even knew about it. I wouldn't have expected you to pick him. I guess my favorite is Virginia Woolf. Oh, yeah. A ladies writer. She was not. Have you ever read any of her books? No, should I? Hey, you want to see me play basketball Friday afternoon? I'll throw in a few hoops for you. You promise? You promise. Okay. Hey, wait a minute. You're playing us. That's right, for the district title. Go to the game with the enemy? <laughs> Can't handle it. Okay. But I'll be rooting for my team. Oh, fair enough. Well, not that it'll do you much good. Dizzy on a ladder. It's just a matter of getting used to it. I'll take you mountain climbing sometime. You've got a good set of legs. I didn't think girls blessed you anymore. I blush too easily. It's one of the things I like about you. changing her mind about what to wear. She's going to end up in jeans and a sweater. But which jeans and which sweater? <laughs> Hi, Mrs. Danziger. Hello, Erica. Hi. Are you soaked? No, I'm OK. But my hair gets all frizzy when it gets all wet. You can relax. It's just Erica. 
Double date tonight? Yeah, Michael's bringing one of his friends. What do you think of this, Michael? Oh, I think he's really nice, don't you? I've only met him once. He is a nice boy. Be careful of the weather now. Okay, we will. Don't worry. Bye. Have a good time. Bye. Good night. Okay. Hey, have you met this Artie guy? I mean, I wonder if he's cute or what, you know? We're really excited about it. Oh, come on in, quick! We weren't prepared for this rain. Uh, this is Artie Lewin, Kath, Erica. Oh, you guys are gonna catch pneumonia. Yeah. Let's find some house for you. Gesundheit. Thank you. You're welcome. There you go. Maybe we should stay in and have a fire tonight. Oh, what about your parents? Oh, we have an agreement. I can use the den undisturbed. Besides, they're out for the evening. Is anybody hungry? Uh, yeah. I, I, I could use something to eat. <laughs> well, now that we've emptied the refrigerator, what do you want to do? <laughs> Could play backgammon. We don't have it. I do. With you? Yes. I keep it in my car just in case. In case of what? <laughs> uh, in case I get into situations where I run out of things to do, like now. <laughs> um, if you don't like backgammon, I have a Monopoly, Yahtzee, Clue, uh, Life, Scrabble. What scrimmage. are you, a, a, a traveling game show or something? <laughs> always making fun, always. Look, I'm gonna go get some in the car. Oh, I'll go with you. How long have you and Artie been friends? A couple of years. I was having some trouble with geometry, so he helped me out. Why? Just curious. You're very different. Oh, yeah. Artie's a great guy. Erica sure likes him. I don't think you're talented. You're just lucky. Oh, no. It's pure talent. Talent is getting the throws you need. When you need them. It's your turn. <laughs> giving up on you. Well, you were, um... Oh, please. You're too young. Does anybody want any more to drink? No, thanks. We gotta concentrate. If I beat it, this game is four in a row. You know, I could learn to hate you. A <laughs> dollar fifty for your thought. <laughs> Why so much? <laughs> I have a feeling they're worth it. I'll pass. Oh, come on, Kath. 
You liked Artie a lot, didn't you? Yeah, he's kind of cute. <laughs> he's awfully shy, though. He didn't even try to kiss me. <laughs> you don't think I have bad breath, do you? Not usually. Get out of here. Do I really? <laughs> oh, no, you smell fine. Mm -hmm. He's probably not attracted to me. Probably thinks I'm too short. Oh, I'm sure that has nothing to do with it. Tell me about Michael. <clears throat> oh. Might be a good idea to get it over with before college. Erica. Are you a virgin? I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? I don't know. <laughs> well, remember that time when I was dating uh, Floyd Howard? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> well, one night he got really passionate, you know. <laughs> At one point, he was so serious about it that I started laughing. <laughs> and it, I found out that it was just the wrong thing to do at that time. So everything just kind of went, you know. It was terrible. <laughs> So anyway, I, I was just sort of, sort of thinking about it and decided that if I was going to do it, I had to find somebody that had a good sense of humor, you know? I agree. Like Artie. I think he really has a good sense of humor, don't you? I don't know if he takes it serious enough, though. I'd want to be in love. Oh, God. I'm, <laughs> I guess I'm just an old-fashioned romantic at heart. Listen, Kat, I give you one more week. One more week of being old-fashioned. <laughs> come on, I'm laying bets. Five dollars. Come on, in one week, it is all going to be over for you, five Kat. Five dollars? Yeah, come on, five dollars. Come on, come on, come on. <laughs> Ow! Good night. <laughs> Now, you needn't worry about the small children, for they be of two types. One type will not understand the play at all, and the other type will explain it to you. 